And what we're going to do tonight is we're actually going to have a look um, at what I was eating. Hey Vanessa! Uh, what I was eating when I lost my 25 kilos. So for the first 10 kilos that I lost, um, the program that I'm on didn't actually have a, a shake uh, like they do now. That's a new product that's come out. So when I very first started, I was doing... Um, having to make my breakfast and things like that. So one of the things that I find um, really easy to do is to do like a meal prep. And that's basically what we're gonna talk about tonight um, and how I would prep my food for a week. Okay, so that's what we're gonna go through. So let's have a bit of a look. Now, before we do get started, um, if you can share, please share me into your pages and bits and pieces like that. Once again, we're going to be talking about uh, ketogenic breakfasts um, and one of the best ways to start your day, uh, obviously, is to have a decent breakfast and being ketogenic, uh, it does mean that it is low fat, low carb and um, also really healthy and will give you a lot of energy. So we're gonna go through some of those today. Um, as always, I have my trusty laptop here with me, so if you do see me glancing, I do apologise for that, but uh, I always like to make sure that I'm giving you correct information um, and things like that. So that's why I have my little laptop. Um, beautiful. Cool. So please, please share um, and get me out there. Help me get, uh, get going in bits and pieces. Do you like my apron? This is one that my husband got me. And that's, oh, it's back to front. You can't see it. Uh, but it says man's best friends and it's got a couple of jugs on the front so yes have to put that out there and oh sorry while we're on it for anybody that tuned in last week and um i got a lot of, of questions about my husband's phone how he killed it um thank you amy how my hubby killed his phone and um the issues that we were having because it wasn't going to be able to be cloned um, and so he got a new phone. It actually took like literally 24 hours to arrive. So that was pretty good. Uh, kudos to Telstra for getting that sorted so quickly. Um, I thought I'd put that out there as well. <laughs> Thanks, Vanessa. And then um, also too, we he managed to get a lot of bits and pieces off his phone. We It took, it was mind blowing. But the best part about it all is that he actually ended up um, being able to have a lot of the functions that he hated previously removed um, and so he, he yeah he's really stoked with the fact that he's got a new phone even though we weren't able to do a full clone um, and he didn't lose anything really which was great just um, obviously past history of text messages and stuff like that but anyway that's a different topic altogether um, if you if you want to know a bit more about that go watch the live from last week um, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be making one of my favourite breakfasts um, because this is something that can be prepared ahead of time and then just heated the next morning um, and, and away in racing. Um, and also too, it is something that you can um, eat in the car. So on your way to work. And that always worked for me. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing air fried um, air fried. My recipe in my book says turkey, but there's a beef because I didn't have any turkey mints, but anyway. Um, so air fried turkey and mushroom um, eggs. And basically what it is, it's a scotched egg uh, that has um, mushrooms and bits and pieces. And if you don't like mushrooms, don't add them in. Easy. I'm not going to tell you how to cook uh, that sort of stuff. I just want to show you a quick and easy process. So let's get started. The first thing that you need to do is to obviously hard boil, I shouldn't say obviously because it might not be obvious, is hard boil your egg. Now I use a little tray that I put inside my air fryer, um, as such, I know you can't see inside my air fryer and I apologise, but I put that inside my air fryer and I actually cook my eggs in my air fryer. So what I do, depending on how many eggs you actually use, um, yes, they are. They're absolutely, Vanessa, they are. I, we use our air fryer every single day, every day. Um, for hard-boiled eggs, if you're putting two eggs in, it is, for the Philips one that I use, 140 degrees, 15 minutes, and they're still a little bit gooey in the middle if that's how you like to have your eggs. Uh, the more eggs that you cook, though, the, the longer your cook time needs to be, and sometimes the temperature needs to go up, too. Um, with cooking eggs though, I will say, just don't forget, if they're not fresh, they're going to be really hard to peel. 
So I only ever hard boil the um, really fresh eggs. And the easiest way to tell if an egg is fresh is to actually drop it into a glass of water and if it's fresh, it will float because it has a pocket of air at the top and the air will actually bring it back up to the top again. And that tells you that it's fresh. If your egg sinks, then um, that means that that pocket of air is gone. And so then, you know, um, it's not gonna be as fresh. It's still edible, but it's just not gonna be as fresh for you. Okay, so um, here's one I prepared earlier. So this is actually already a hard boiled egg. So as I said, 15 minutes at 140 degrees in Philips air fryer. It could be different per air fryer. So do trial and error and see how you get on with that. Um, and you will work out, you know, what's gonna work better for you. Um, and every single one, every single one is different. So once again, here's an egg I prepared earlier. Uh, so we'll put this one aside because we don't need it just yet. So the ingredients that we're gonna use today to do our scotched eggs, um, now I'm only doing one, so you would multiply this depending on how many eggs you wanna cook. So it's a 100 grams of mince per egg that you're going to do, and 50 grams of mushrooms per egg you're going to do. Now you could add um, other bits and pieces in there as well. You might wanna add onions or shallots or um, any of that sort of stuff. And on the plan that I'm on, they're all fine. So you can have those added in there. Um, then we just basically pop that in your bowl, okay? You then put in your herbs and spices to taste. In my guide um, that I'm gonna include with today, I have not put what herbs and spices to use because once again, that is up to you and up to your taste. Sometimes I put uh, like a curry powder in there or you can put um, an Italian seasoning. I've, I've got a friend that works for Flavorista um, and so I use a lot of their herbs and spices which are compliant um, on keto. So it's just a case of checking your ingredients on the back um, and then going with that. So the one I'm doing, and I always put mine into a little container so that they stay nice and airtight. So what I'm going to use today um, to do ours here for home are the thyme and garlic. So I just use a half a teaspoon, here's my back to you, a half a teaspoon, once again, per egg that you're actually cooking. So today we're doing one egg, um, as I mentioned. I wouldn't normally just do one, to be honest. I would normally cook um, up six at a time because they do keep and they can actually be frozen because you can freeze eggs. Did you know you could freeze eggs? A lot of people don't know you can actually freeze eggs. So the important part is that they can't be uh, in the shell. You have to take them out and you have to actually mix them up. So if you're using them for omelets and stuff like that, um, that's fine, but they have to be mixed. So the whites and the yolks, if they're frozen like that, they, they don't work very well. But if you already mix them um, and then freeze them like that, that actually works really, really well. So um, we, we had a, I can't remember why we did it, but we had a whole load of eggs at one point. And, um, and I'm talking, you know, I think it was something like 36 eggs. So we went through and oh, I'm just mixing together the mushrooms and the mince at the moment. Um, we went through and we froze them and they actually came out really, really well. And what I read online was you can actually use them for baking. Um, I, I'm a bit fussy about that sort of thing, so I don't know that I would use them for baking. But what we did use them for was just our Sunday morning um, bacon and eggs, scrambled eggs, stuff like that. Um, because that way they came out and, and they were absolutely beautiful. And they were actually quite creamy. They were really, really good. Um, and once again, it all comes down to, you know, how you cook it, what you add to it, all your flavours, because your flavours are your flavours, you know, what I like, you may not like. So once again, in my guide that I will show you in a little bit, I didn't put um, exactly what herbs and spices to use, because at the end of the day, that is really up to you, okay? So once you've got your um, mushroom and mince combined, um, you just need to make that into a round. Okay, so that we can then put your egg in the middle. So just be gentle because it is moist, so it will um, try and fall apart on you. So then when you get it to a decent size, you just pop your egg in the middle. I hope everybody can see what I'm doing. Um, pop your egg in the middle and then I just slowly, slowly massage the mince and mushroom around uh, the egg. So you could roll it out to the exact, you know, and, and do it that way, but... I'm not that sort of person. 
I just do it this way. Um, and then so just massage that around and it will slowly, slowly envelop your egg. I go around in circles. No, you can't see because my hand's in the way. Um, around and around in circles and slowly, slowly massage the meat up and around the egg. Nice and easy. So some of the other recipes uh, that while I'm doing this that I have got in my book for you this week and it is just breakfast. So I've got seven breakfasts organized for you. Um, I've got things like uh, breakfast muffins, which once again, those frozen eggs could go into, and also um, like an omelette with zucchini. Um, I have actually also put in a shake that I really like and enjoy. Um, that's in there as well. And what else have I got in there? I've actually got a, a, like a cottage pie. It's a mince, mince egg uh, with a cauliflower topping on it which is a beautiful breakfast and will give you heaps and heaps of energy. Um, just things like that. So just some things that I, I once again, that I ate while I was losing my weight. Um, and I've never been a huge one for eating breakfast. So if I'm gonna have breakfast, it needs to be something that I can have um, on the run. Simple as that. So my egg now is completely enveloped uh, in there. So it's just a case of a little bit of massage, a little bit of massage. It will go all the way around um, and I find it's a little bit easier too if you've got uh, moist hands, <laughs> nobody likes that word, if you've got uh, wet hands to be able to do that with um, because it, it just makes it a little bit easier to mould. Then you just put your scotched eggs in your um, air fryer with my dirty hands, take that out and what I do is I do one in each corner um, and then one in the middle, so as I said I do five. So pop that in, I'm actually going to cook this one, so for me that's my power button. Uh, my temperature, take it down to 140 degrees because it's automatically preset at 180. Um, and then I put it on for just 10 minutes to start off with and then we turn it over and do a further five. Now obviously I'm not going to have time to do uh, the whole thing with you here today, but that's where we're at at the moment. That goes on. Okay. That noisy, I hope that's not too noisy. You get what I'm talking about. <laughs> all right, and so once it's all done, they actually come out looking pretty nice. So these ones uh, were cooked earlier today, so these are cold now, so they're not as beautiful and runny as they should be. But this is your uh, your mushroom one, so that's how it comes out after 14 minutes, sorry, 15 minutes. Uh, in the air fryer with boiling the egg, or it's not really boiling it, it's, a, it's a baking it. Um, so that's the one with the mushroom, and then you've got your, you know, mushroom because my husband hates mushroom. So that's there for us to have. So they come out really, really nice. It is a really easy one. And then all I do each morning is just pop that in the microwave for literally 30 seconds. 30 seconds in the microwave in the morning for me is enough to heat it up for me to have uh, on my way to work. I am obsessed with these little containers um, from Big W and they're like 99 cents, I don't know. But I use these for pretty much everything when it comes to snacks and bits and pieces. And um, my egg will fit in there perfectly. Okay, and that's really good. Um, I also tend to, because that's not a fully compliant, um, what we would call a compliant breakfast, because there's, there's obviously there's not um, vegetables and bits and pieces. So I would normally, with this one, do a little bit of a spinach and uh, cucumber salad type thing, um, or we have our crunchy salad that we have. And, and yes, you can have salad for breakfast. It's okay. Okay, especially when it's things like spinach and things like that, your, your baby spinach leaves. So, um, so that's basically getting all of that together. And it, once again, it doesn't take long. It doesn't. It's literally half an hour and you've got five breakfasts for your whole week ready to go. Um, or you could basically do that and freeze, once I mentioned, freeze it. Um, so once again, I've put together a guide for you. It's already waiting uh, on my blog page. I actually launched my blog yesterday. Uh, I haven't put out there that I've launched it yet, but you're more than welcome to jump over and have a look. And you can download um, my bricky guide straight away. So that's our scotched eggs there. Um, feel free to jump over and grab that. So that's at my blog page. So that's paularudiger.com. So R-E-U-D-I-G-E-R.com. Um, and that's where you'll find that in the blog section.